What the heck is up my Atlanteans? How are you doing today? For today's video, we have another unboxing. For today's video, we will be unboxing Amaya Rain from Rainbow High Series 2. So let's take a look at her box really quickly. As you can see from the big front uh, window thing, we can see the entire Amaya Rain doll. She is absolutely beautiful. And in my opinion, she is uh, definitely my favorite from in comparison to this Amaya to the first Amaya that was released, like the hair one. I just really like how they decided to go with a darker theme. Cause usually when we think of rainbows, we usually put it with a white background or we add like white unicorns. Let's give a girl some black, you know? The color black goes with everything and it goes just as well with rainbows as white does. I love her hair, I'm so excited to see how that looks in its entirety. I love her makeup as well. I know a lot of people have been saying that she looks a lot like a clown. In my opinion, this is a look that a lot of people cannot pull off. Um, I'm glad that she can. So for the differences compared to the first Rainbow High boxes, um, now we get a little sticker that says watch on YouTube, because as you know, Rainbow High has a seriously hectic web series that I absolutely love. And of course, instead of the main cast, we get the series two group uh, circling around her test tube window. On the top here, it says Amaya Rain. And on the side here, we can see her entire second outfit. I am so excited to see how this looks on her. And then if we turn to the back, here we can see the entire group. We got Stella Monroe, Bella Parker, Carmen Nichols, River Kendall, Jet Dawson, or Crystal Bailey as she is now, and of course the beautiful Amaya Ray. And it looks like everything else is gonna be exactly the same as the other box, save for those uh, few differences. Let's take her out. Woo, let's see how she looks. All right, everyone, story time. So I live in Canada and series two has not come out here. And I see on like everyone in the Facebook groups, on YouTube, everyone literally has the entire <laughs> series two already. And I just recently found uh, this girl at Walmart a few days ago. So y'all that are complaining, <laughs> Just remember that this is what I have to go through. Not to say that, of course, I'm not trying to say that my problems are a lot more than other people's problems. I'm just saying that when it comes to um, things like this with the release dates and prices even, these girls are like $40. Our original pricing is $40, whereas I know in the States it's like $26. And I understand our our money is different in comparison to how much American money is, but still $40 for a doll. <laughs> like I appreciate the details and I understand that it's expensive for the details, but I don't know. I'm just saying, I'm just saying y'all, don't come at me in the comments, please. All right, everyone. So here she is completely taken out of the box. So of course Amaya is going to come with the basics, a hairbrush, a stand, and clothes hangers all in the color black this time. And here is the beautiful Amaya Rain in her full glory. You guys, oh my gosh, oh my god. Amaya is, even in the TV show, I will say, Amaya is my current favorite character. I think she is so sweet and she has such great style. Um, I just really, really appreciate her. And I really appreciate her in this doll as well. So taking a look at her hair first. Oh my gosh. I love how in the, like the white Amaya, she, um, she has like, like hidden rainbows in her white hair. Whereas this time we're getting her entire head all rainbowed out. <laughs> 
and it looks like it's going to be primarily blue, which I actually really appreciate. Blue is actually my favorite color, and blue really suits Amaya here. And for her clown makeup, she's got some, I don't even know what to say. She's got like four colors of, of um, eyeshadow on her. It's so cute, like really, it's really cute. They even got some glitter on there too, I swear. What's his name, Michael the Crater? He like really went out on this series. And talking about her beautiful outfit, she's gonna be wearing this uh, black cropped t-shirt and then this two-piece dress, you guys, two pieces. Uh, so this is actually a cropped top here and then the skirt is also separate and you can see that we've got some little zipper details and this utility belt piece, first of all, super trendy, super current, so cute, I love that. And this is removable. It's a separate piece. Like they genuinely spoil us every time. And for her first pair of shoes, she's wearing these translucent strappies with some platform stilettos. And she's got these like iridescent, iridescent socks. Overall, I really, really like her. And she, you can definitely see the inspiration from the, I think it was called the Sparkle Surprise Dolls, like the really big ones. Amaya is definitely inspired by that rainbow one, but she still looks like her own self. Like she's so cute, I love her. She's perfect. And of course she does come with a second outfit. So let's get that on to her. Let's see how she looks. Let's get on with it. All right, everyone. So here is beautiful Amaya in her complete second outfit. She is full on wearing a cheerleader uniform and I absolutely love that. As I have been a cheerleader in the past, any kind of cheer recognition is very, very, very appreciated. Let's look at the little details here. So first, you guys, this is an actual drawstring like hoodie. I think we've had this before, but you guys, this is insane. This is crazy. I love this. I love- they didn't need to do this, but they did it. And also on her little cheer uniform, um, we've got a little patch that's stitched onto here. It says RH. And also, this is a two-piece top. Like, the hoodie is one piece, and then the cheerleader top is actually another piece, which is another piece, which I actually really appreciate. That means you could do a full cheer outfit without the hoodie. And her freaking cheer skirt, like, first of all, let's look at this gradient that goes around the rim of it. But then when you look at what's underneath, it's freaking lined with this like Dior-esque um, uh, type of pattern but like they're all like different colors and all their colors like, I don't know. It's just perfect, this is perfect. And of course for her bottom part, she is wearing these beautiful knee length socks. It's completely black. And then on the top it is white and says rainbow. And then for her freaking shoes, you guys, I don't know which um, the company makes these, but you guys, there is so much detail when it comes to this like for the amount like all of these colors on the bottom all of these colors on the side all these buckles on the front and then it says a rainbow in golden letters on her toes yeah all together like the second outfit is amazing it's perfect definitely oh my gosh i say this literally every time but this time i swear even comparing to the second wave of um, Rainbow High Girls, Amaya is my favorite doll. How about Amaya is my favorite doll in the second series? Yes, yes. All right, everyone. So that is pretty much everything for Amaya here. For the $40 Canadian price point, I think that she is definitely worth it. It's a little pricey, but she does come with a lot and the quality is amazing. If anything, quality control is something to definitely watch out for. So if you're buying in store, just make sure that you're really looking at the dolls and the accessories. Her hair is still gel, gel, gel to the max. So she's gonna need a little bit of a wash. So also be mindful of that. I hope you guys liked this video. I hope you guys liked Amaya cause I really, really love her myself. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you want. And I'll see you guys on the flip side. Bye-bye.